The Mayor of London, Sadiq Khan, said he wants to address the ticking time bomb of child obesity across the capital as part of his London food strategy, Transport for London have proposed a, bank, a ban on junk food advertising, Claire Chung reports. City Hall has announced that junk food advertising could be banned across the entire TFL network. Sadiq Khan is targeting child obesity in particular with the scheme. Four out of ten children aged uh, 10, 11, year six children are obese or overweight. It's one of the worst in Europe and if you're obese as a child, you're probably going to be obese as an adult. It causes physical and psychological issues. It's a strain on the NHS. It inhibits your life chances. If this proposal is approved, adverts for food and drink high in fat, salt or sugar will be banned across the London underground, overground, buses and bus shelters. Child health experts are in support of the proposed scheme, while the Advertising Society doubts Association doubts it will be impactful. Earlier, I spoke to, Charles, to Carl Jones, senior lecturer of PR and advertising at the University of Westminster. I asked him if there was any evidence that removing ads would make a difference. I think that opinions will be influenced. What happens is that it is more the mayor and the TFL taking a stand and then the companies and corporations then react. Um, I don't think it's an issue for advertising agencies because they always seem to get attacked and really the problem is not with the advertising agencies, it's with the corporations and companies that hire them to create the messaging. Okay, but do you think that obviously the, the point of this is to kind of try and tackle child obesity, so do you think that getting rid of the ads on public transport will make a difference to child obesity? If you're asking my personal opinion, yes, I do think so. However, there are many other efforts that need to be done, which means corporations and brands creating uh, alternatives that are healthier for children. How will we know if the strategy is working? We will know the strategy is working by the response from the brands and corporations and if they do come out with healthier versions of their products for the consumers. And what effect will this have on the amount of money that Transport for London makes from advertising, do you think? Well, if a junk food manufacturer can't uh, put in a certain product, then they will look for other products to put in its place. How will this affect revenue for the actual junk food producers? I really don't think it will affect their revenue. They will just uh, look at either reformulating their products or they will look at other ways of getting their message out um, through other media. That was Carl Jones on the proposed junk food advertising ban.